Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing and Food Online. I hope you're having a great day again as usual. Um, I wanted to do a video in regards to a question that I had about the frozen food business, starting a frozen food business. Um, some resources to help you get kind of up and running and possibly even find a co-packer, uh, a company to produce your frozen food products for you. And of course, logistically uh, ship that product and store it and all that good stuff. So um, I am a wealth of resources uh, with a ton of information at my fingertips. And that is why I do my videos to try to help you guys out. So this in particular, uh, this website in particular here is the AFFI website. And this is the American Frozen Food Institute, uh, which has a ton of fantastic resources. I'm just going to scroll down here really quick. Um, anything from as far as uh, warehousing and di distribution, uh, cold storage, and more and much, much more. So what I'm going to do here is I want to show you guys, let me go back a page. Um, if you're looking for, I'll show you how I found this. <clears throat> here we go. All right. So this is the list of co-packing companies or companies that you can uh, distribute and store your frozen food and they can do the logistics, the big end of it. Let me remove that uh, advertising there. So this one is great. If you scroll down, this is actually going to give you 32 companies that are listed under the co-packing for uh, frozen food products, okay? Um, again, I personally, I'll, I'll be right up, up front and honest with you, I don't do frozen food, so I haven't worked directly with these companies. But um, like I said before, I have a lot of resources at my fingertips. I've been in the food business for a very long time, so I kind of know how to track these things down and find them, and then that's why I bring them to you guys, try to help you out, okay? Um, so you can basically scroll straight down, um, and I won't go to every single business, but how it's laid out is very, very simple. Let's just say um, uh, the Henningsen Cold Storage Company. Okay, so they're going to give you uh, contact information here, a telephone, um, and a website. Of course, you can simply just go to their website. Um, and they're going to explain to you exactly what they do and what they can do for you. Okay, uh, this company that I know of, I actually did a little research before I did the video. This um, company in particular is huge. Uh, they're gigantic. They have a huge amount of... Uh, covered warehouse and a very large distribution center. Um, as it says here, <laughs> one, of, one of the largest public refrigerated housing companies in the United States, uh, storing and uh, keeping food at the uh, freezer, the necessary temperature for frozen food distribution. So um, as far as their services, I can check and see uh, they are listed under co-packing. Yeah, single source uh, services, warehousing and transportation. So definitely check this out. I'm not. I'm going to make a really short video with this one, but I did have quite a few, and quite surprising. There's a lot of my subscribers are asking questions about a frozen food business. Um, that's particularly one type of business that I haven't personally been interested in doing. Um, but I definitely would say that the industry as a whole, frozen food. I do know quite a bit about it. I actually worked in the frozen food department for one of the companies I worked for while I was in college. Um, I know that the frozen food business is huge and it only continues to grow. So if that is one type of food business that you're interested in, I will tell you straight up, um, there is a huge call for it. And literally every single grocery store uh, on the planet pretty much has a frozen food section. And um, a lot of, to be honest with you, a lot of organic and naturally based uh, frozen foods um, that are frozen veggies and frozen dinners and snacks um, and, and appetizers and such, that is growing at a hugely, hugely large rate. There are, of course, a lot of frozen foods, believe it or not, that have preservatives and other chemicals and things that are in them that are not natural. Um, but the natural food in the frozen food section, the natural foods is gigantic. So definitely something you want to think about if you want to get into this. And of course, really quick to how this website works, I'll scroll down here. Again, it has another page and it just goes on and on uh, with the 32 plus companies here that that handle uh, frozen food. So definitely you can find some some resources on here for you if you are looking uh, to do a frozen food business and simply call them up. Hey, you know what? My name is so and so. This is what I want to do. It, you know, I want to produce this specific type of frozen food product. Is this something you can do for me or with me? Um, or do you store it? Do you do the logistics and all that good stuff? So there's a lot of information on this website. I wanted to post this really quick for you guys um, if you want to get into the food business. And again, um, the actual website is frozenfoodindustrybuyersguide.com, which will bring you actually to uh, this website, okay? So um, what I'll do is I'll copy and paste this link and I'll have this in the description down below. Uh, but this is a huge resource for you guys if you are looking for, again, uh, frozen food business. So 
uh, take a look in the description and I hope this guy, this helps you guys out. Um, and if you have any questions about frozen food, just continue to ask me and I, and I will, I will send you all the resources that you would need to try to help you guys out. So, uh, if the video was helpful as always, please do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, um, please feel free to do that. We have nearly 300 videos now, um, that have to do with food production or bringing your food product to uh, market from idea to the store shelves or just online. Um, of course. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Have a great one.